Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to deep dive into what's known as the unclassified um, balance sheet. So the balance sheet is just one of several financial statements that the company reports in, in its annual report. Um, and that balance sheet can take on one of two formats. It could be classified or what I'm going to call as unclassified. And that's what we're going to talk about here. That's the simpler of the two um, formats. So what are the elements of this unclassified balance sheet? Well, first up, you're going to have a header. That header, similar to other financial statements, will have the company name. It will have the financial statement name. And whereas other financial statements would have the period of time covered, because this is the balance sheet, it is going to have the point in time at which these balances are measured. Balances don't occur over time. Balances are taken at a snapshot, a point in time. So the balance sheet's going to have a single date, a point in time. Um, after your header, your, your, your balance sheet is essentially going to be broken up into three sections. There's going to be the asset section, which will get subtotaled. There's going to be the liability section, which may or may not be subtotaled the shareholders' equity section, which may or may not be subtotaled. And then there is going to be some sort of subtotaling of those two sections. So um, you, you, you might have been like, well, wait a minute. You said may or may not be, but now you're telling me there is. So this is a kind of a company preference thing of whether or not they subtotal the liability section and then subtotal the shareholders' equity section and then provide a combined subtotal of each. Or some companies just skip and provide a combined subtotal of each. So they won't subtotal liabilities, they won't subtotal equity, but they will still subtotal the two of them combined. Now you may find that funny and being like, well wait, assets get subtotaled, why do these others get a special treatment? But that comes back to our basic accounting equation or what's known as our balance sheet equation, A equals L plus SE. The reason for this subtotaling is really a safety catch more than anything. You're going to subtotal assets because that's the left side of the equation, and you're going to make sure at a minimum you subtotal the combination of L plus SE because that's the right side of the equation. Therefore, you can see that your balance sheet is, in fact, in balance. Okay, But some companies will subtotal these sections individually as well. You don't have to. Um, either way is fine. All right, let's take a look at an example of an unclassified balance sheet. Notice here, um, this is Universal Insurance Holdings and Subsidiaries. They have their company name up top. They also have the name of the financial statement up top. And then they have the point in time listed over here above the numbers. Specifically, their point in time is December 31st. And of course, they have two different years presented, 2019 and 2018. First up, they have an asset section where they list all the assets of the company and they subtotal those assets. Next up, they have a liabilities and stockholders equity header, but then it is broken up. There's a liability section, and they do subtotal their liability section. And then there's their shareholders equity section, and it's got all the shareholders equity accounts, and they do subtotal their shareholders equity section, but then notice, even in spite of subtotaling them individually, they do a total L plus SE at the bottom, and those numbers should match to total assets. And this is just the general layout you will see for any unclassified balance sheet. Assets, subtotal, liabilities, shareholders' equity may be subtotaled individually, but definitely subtotaled together to compare to assets, and you're done. All right, that's it for the unclassified balance sheet. Hopefully you found this helpful, and hope you join me for the next video.